Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and um, I wanted to share with y'all something that I come up with when I did a whoops. <laughs> Anybody else do boo-boos when they're uh, printing digital kits or any kind of paper crafting? You got a boo-boo, you got to figure out a way to fix it. So I'm going to show y'all in just a minute what I'm talking about and what we're going to make with my whoopsie. This, though, first I wanted to show y'all, um, I also have, this is one of my newest digital kits that I have for sale on the website, scrapbookingwithme.com. I mentioned that website at the beginning of all of my videos. That's mom and my website where we um, sell all kinds of paper crafting. We uh, make our digitals and put them on there for purchase. And then um, our journals, we sell our journals on that website also. So that is our go-to website. So you need to go there and shop with us. <laughs> We've got a brand new, um, let's see, I think new inventory went up today and then we'll also have some more tomorrow. So we're constantly getting in new uh, shipments, new inventory, new orders. So y'all shop with us at scrapbookingwithme.com. So there's that commercial. I wanted to show y'all this. This new digital is the So In Fashion, so S-E-W, In Fashion digital kit. And then I also have, like I was telling y'all, the um, March Madness, that's the grayscale kind of blue that I gave away some of the pages for free during March. That is also in the website, um, available on the website at scrapbookingwithme.com. Um, this one is called Wildflowers. So look for Wildflowers on the um, website. And this has been like one of the favorite pages. Look at that. All kinds of ephemera. And then that one has all kinds of labels and stuff on it. So... Anyway, look for wildflowers. Now, if you are a paid member of mine or mom's uh, YouTube channels, then um, you get that kit for free. It's over in the perks on our website. And if you are a paid member, you know where the perks are. All right. So anyway, back to this one. This one is so in fashion. It's got some Victorian kind of theme to it. It's got some retro 60s kind of theme mingled in there too. Got some pattern, kind of sewing pattern things in it too. So I'm really loving it. Um, I did not have anybody that said, oh, I need a sewing pattern <laughs> uh, digital, but um, I saw this and saw some of the graphics and I thought, mm, I'm going to make a sewing kit because this is just too pretty. I loved all the graphics that I was able to get my hands on. So, and then um, collaging the pages just came very natural because when you have great artists that you um, get digitals from or get graphics from, then you can make beautiful digitals. And then here is those, <clears throat> the kind of retro 60s kind of theme, the dress pattern you know so if you fold that and have that as a journal page you've got that little lady there and then the, another little lady on the back so these are all the journal pages this digital kit is 17 pages so nice big kit um, just add some of your own coffee dyed or tea stained papers in and um, there's plenty of ephemera in this too you could even print off a couple of the pages a couple of extra times and make um, some tags with them. And you've got plenty for a journal. So this one, it says sewing. It's got the four girls up there. It looks like they're in a class learning how to sew. So if you folded that one, you'd have two girls on the back, two girls on the front. Um, that one, that page, I love that page. I got the graphic and just, you know, put it over and over and over again. So I like the pattern that we made on that one. That looks like a nice big suitcase of fabric that I would love to get my hands on. And then this one, this one reminds me of the mannequin one or whatever you call those the other one that I showed you. Nope. 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 
Where'd it go? This one. Those two remind me of each other. I feel like if you folded this one, got that on the front and that one on the back. And then here's the ephemera pages. So you've got lots of cut apart little pattern ladies here. You've got some sewing and fabric and like a sewing kit kind of thing, fussy cuts. You've got some journal cards. You've got a border, a page border or a belly band there. And then you've got some more journal cards. I love journal cards, so I put those in every one of them. I also put word labels because I love word labels, so you'll see those in a minute. So you've got old sewing machines here and some spools and bobbins here for fussy cuts. And then tags and word labels. And then some more that you could use as um, belly band or a page edge or border, anything like that. Then these you could flip this way or that way and make pockets on your pages if you wanted to or just as little side tucks. These are the like the little keychain labels. So you just cut those out in a circle or you could use a circle punch and punch those out and then just use your hole punch and use those as little charms. And then I found some little retro looking buttons. Put those on there. Made you some pockets. More fussy cuts. Little stamps. And then those are some postage stamps there and some tickets there that match everything. So that is the Sew in Fashion digital kit, 17 pages, and it is available on our website at scrapbookingwithme.com. Now, this is the same kit I was showing y'all uh, in the last video from Rachel and Bella Crafts. I'm in their collaboration that's going on currently. And I printed off all these pages, but there were some of them that I wanted to print the like these on the back sides of them. And guess what? I got to printing and just printed everything um, one-sided and never put anything on the back. Now these, I did go back and I put something on the back. I put my um, grungy kind of uh, backgrounds. And I will leave a link to these. There is the um, lined and then there's a dot grid. And um, I'll leave you a link for that. That's included in that grungy background. But that link will be in the description box below the video. It's also on our website at scrapbookingwithme.com in the digital category section. And then so the backs of these and then some I tore and I wanted to make a smaller page so I tore those and I'll probably will ink the edges of those to put those in um, the journal. And this is another torn edge. There's that square grid like graph paper on the backs and this one's a lot smaller page. Same background kit of mine on the back and then my printer decided it was going to run out of ink in the middle and didn't give me a warning it usually gives me like a two beat warning and I didn't hear it if it gave it to me so um, I've got a little bit of um, purple that's just going to get um, <laughs> uh, coordinated into this journal because I do not care I'm not going to not use those I can cover them up if I want to so I did get some of the pages covered up like that. But then, yeah, look at there, how crazy. Two of them, my printer decided to give up the ghost on. These do not have anything printed on the backs of them. And there's so many pages in this beautiful kit that Rach and Bella and Angela Kerr put together that um, I want to use every one of them but like I said I didn't print on the backs and I don't want to use any more ink right now in my printer 
So I'm <laughs> I'm giving it a rest. I decided I think what I will do is let's make some pocket pages out of these and let's put them back to back just like this and maybe we will sew on some of them and maybe there'll be a, a side pocket on some maybe they'll all be top loading I don't know but we're gonna make some pocket pages so this is another way to cover up white space if you've got a lot of white space in your journal you've got a lot of pages and you're thinking okay I'm very overwhelmed this is a way to get that taken care of so easiest way to do this is if I want to make this top loading all we're going to do is get some glue started maybe get my little film off the top of it and just make sure that your patterns line up on both sides so if you've got directional paper okay and then I'm going to put this down pick it up off all the other pages and then just sandwich those together and now they are glued together on three sides I have the top open so when this dries I'm not going to fold it right now when this dries I'm going to just fold that in half and then you would have a top loading pocket and a top loading pocket on your pages so that's just an idea to do that you can also instead of just using glue you can just put a couple of dots of glue and then go around with your sewing machine and just sew on the three sides and that makes for beautiful pages but I am going to glue most of these but some I want to do side loading pockets and on this one I think I'll do that so I want to have the pocket coming out this way and I want to have a pocket coming out that way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue all the way across I'm going to take these pages out from under here because I'm so afraid I'm going to get glue on the wrong spot on those so what I would do is put glue all the way across the top and try to drive my line as straight as possible but sometimes that's just not in the cards all right line across the top line across the bottom and then I'm going to sit this down and you may think well Melina you need to do something about the middle once you get these pages sewn into your journal signature you don't have to worry about that you'll have a stopper in the middle from where you've sewn it into your journal so now there is an opening here and an opening here when you would fold this together I'm just going to gingerly do that you're not open at the top and bottom you're open on the sides and what I would do is I know this is not dry and don't do as I do I'm just doing this because of time restraints what I would do is go ahead and put me a notch and I'm using the one and a half inch circle punch and just do a notch kind of get it as close to middle as possible but you know don't worry about it if it's not and then that way when I'm putting these pages into my journal I'm gonna know hey those have pockets on the sides because I've got those notches you can do the same thing to these and these should be dry enough for me to fold it I think I'm gonna fold it this way and since you've got top loading pockets you want to look where the pattern is so I don't want to get into those flowers for my notch So I just do it like that and I know when I'm putting this into my journal 
Hey, that's got a top loading pocket in it. This has got side loading pocket in it. And then you could put those in like this after they're folded, of course. And then you've got side pockets, you've got top pockets, or you could just put in regular page in between them like this. I'm gonna fold this one in half. Ooh, I'm gonna fold it this way. That butterfly would be pretty to see in between these two pages. So let's go ahead and fold this one this way. Okay, and then we're gonna put this one in between. And then this one here. So when you're putting your journal signature together before you sew it, you can look and say, oh, that's what I'm gonna see because that notch is out. I've got a pocket there that I can put extra journaling, ephemera, pictures, whatever I want to in. And then you've got that page and then these pages. Then you go, okay, there's a top pocket there. I can do whatever I want to with that. You're gonna have it sewn down the middle here. So that space in between these two pockets will be taken care of. Very easy way to fix a whoops. So let's go ahead and start building our signatures. And I think I want to do two signatures for this journal. And I have plenty of pages. And the artwork that they did on this kit is so pretty. Now, look at me not checking the direction. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. But these designs are wonderful. for this kit with journal jigsaw. That is a lot of work to get a collaboration and a YouTube hop together. So kudos to Rachel and Bella and then An Angela Kerr this time around too for getting all of that together and taking the time to do all of that. And like I said, that, that takes a lot of work. And then you've got to get the right creators that you know that you can depend on to come in and do it too. So it was a lot of work for them. Now I've got two little edges. Maybe they just weren't cut the exact same way that are not lining up. Edges are not lining up here. Um, if you want it to be close to perfection, go ahead and get your trimmer out and trim off the edge. And my trimmer decided to be a little naughty and eat it. So then I'm going to get scissors and trim that. That was kind of disastrous little trimmer. Oh, it ran into glue. That's why. Duh, Melania, your glue's not dry. So this side is a little off too. So let's see if it chews this up too. Not as bad. All right, then if you have to trim off anything off the edge, you've got to make sure that your glue is good still. And you don't have any holes and I don't it's a little bunchy but this is a grungy um, journal so that's good that's fine I think I want to go top loading on this one maybe I won't get any bird beaks cut off okay so let's go this way one and a half inch circle punch somebody the other day was asking what circle punch would you buy if you could only buy one? It would be the one and a half inch. I use that one the most. It is the one I make pretty much all of my pocket notches with. So there we've got top loading pocket pages. 
and it will be sealed up here so you don't have to worry about it coming all the way apart like that because it's going to be sewn into a journal. Since I'm doing two signatures, these four pages are kind of alike. So I would put one of these in one of my signatures and one of these in another signature. And what I want to do with these is make them a little bit shorter in my journal. So they're not going to be coming out as far as these do. I want them to come a little shorter in my journal signature. So what I would do is, it's so beautiful, I don't want to cut off anything, but I can use the scrap, the leftover that I cut out. I can use that somewhere as a belly band or whatever. So I'm going to cut off about an inch and a half off. This can go in my scrap pile and be used in the journal somewhere else. Like I said, as a belly band, whatever. I like for all of my pages to be pretty symmetrical, but I also like to have a few little short pages, smaller pages, maybe not even as tall as some of the other pages in my journals as well. So we're going to do, let's see, let's do side pockets on these. So I'm going to glue top and bottom. And just line it up as good as you can. Pick it up and then you can kind of maneuver it around a little before all the glue dries. Then I'm going to let that dry before I bring those two together and do my notch. But you can tell When I fold that over, see that's going to be shorter than the rest of the pages. And I love when you got some little short pages and then some regular pages and maybe like a piece of ledger paper that's a little smaller or something like that bunched in there. Just gives your journal a little interest and junks it up a little more in my opinion because if everything is every page is exactly the same size then it kind of looks more like a diary to me than it does a handmade journal pick that up make sure it's lined up pretty good so then we've got these two to make side pockets out of now I have all of my pages that are pocket pages here. So I've got top loading, side loading, and then I've got the pages that just have, you know, they're not pocket pages, they're just regular journal pages. And I have started my two signatures. I want this to be the front of one of my signatures and this cute little beehive to be the other front of the other signature. So I'm just going through and putting a pocket page and then regular page, pocket page, regular page. So very elementary here, but now here I did not do that and I have two pocket pages. So what I'll do is take this, set aside here, and then I will pick out since we've got so much going on here and here, let's try to pick out one that is not so busy or a little bit lighter. I really like that. Let's do that. And I think I'm going to fold it this way. Put it in here. So we're a little bit shorter and smaller than the other pages. I love that. So then we've got pocket page, regular page, pocket page, another regular page, pocket, 
regular pocket regular now I'm not too keen on both of these mature ladies being back to back so I think I will take this top loader out and pick a different top loader to put there maybe that doesn't have a face and there we go so we've got the little mature lady here and then we've got that top loader so now we need another regular page and I think I've already gotten one of the collage papers in this signature so the other collage will go in the other signature so I know that I'll put that aside this is one of the main concerns with um, brand new people to junk journaling when they're putting their signatures together um, they come to me and ask I don't know <laughs> how in the world you put all that together because mine just don't seem to want to go together that way and that easily it's just trial and error uh, and really I'm all about pattern <laughs> so that's why a lot of my journals it's like the same pattern top loader regular page side loader regular page top loader regular page <laughs> side loader regular page I'm all about pattern um, I'm a very visual person so I want that in my life neat and orderly that's just me though um, so I got to doing the two signatures and thought you know what these are so thick that I think I'll do three signatures so there is the first one pretty much done how I want it I ended with a regular page and started with a top loader this one I started with a side loader so I need to finish filling this one up and then start on the third signature so I've got side regular top I've got another little um, side loader here so I need a regular and let's just go ahead and use that collage that we want to put in this one put in there and then we've got butterflies there we open it up we got a butterfly on the back and then that beautiful short paper of a side load and then I think I will use hmm what page as my front for my third signature I believe I will go with this one as the cover of my third signature so we'll put that one to the side I need a regular page and let's go with a regular size one not a small one because we've got a small here I think this would go very well and I like I said earlier I do not care that my printer decided to go haywire on me without warning so there's that so then we need another top load I think I will go with mature woman and then let's go with a regular size don't worry about a smaller since we've got a couple of smaller pages in here and that would be polka dots back to back so no good for me <laughs> let's go with something else <laughs> this has got a lot of yellow back to back but I'm good with that so then we need a side loader we might have to do because we've got more side loads left then top loads we might have to go with a side loader as our front for our third one let's go with oh I like that one let's just go with that one and then we ended that one with a regular page and I think I shall go with this page here
All right, so let's count and see if we're about the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages in that one. And ten pages in that one. So then we got to look and see do we have enough? Do we have ten pages to put in a third uh, signature? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So we have 11 to go in our third signature, and I'm good with that. Um, we might let Bad Page <laughs> stay out, and we could use this. We could fussy cut some of that in the journal. How about that? I think that'll work. So let's do that. Um, I want to start with this just to see how it all turns out. So let's go with that one and then let's do a smaller one. Okay, and then a side loading. And let's go get some color in here, blue. And then a regular page. Let's go this one. A little smaller. And I think what I'm going to do is go the opposite fold for that one. So it opens up like that. I love how it's up against that blue stripe. Okay, and then I am top loader. And another regular. Side loader. Top. And we are going to have to use that page. And this third signature will end with a side loader in the middle. So it's just got that one extra page in it. And I really think that I will turn this one this way because that's been the theme for those other two signatures. So that we've got some brown showing. So then we have our three signatures together. Now I want to figure out which one do I want first, last, middle. Um, I want to do this one first and since we've got a girl image on two of them I'll break it up. That's just my way of thinking break it up and put the beehive in the middle and then the other in the back. So there we have a very thick journal in the making. It is gorgeous. I love how big it's going to be. We could do um, an old vintage book that's got a nice wide spine. We could do that as our cover or we could make our cover ourselves. I think I will make a hard cover and so we will need the spine to be at least two and a half inches. We may even go to three inches so that way whenever we start filling up this journal when it lays flat, it's going to have a little bit of a Pac-Man mouth 
and so you want that spine to be able to hold all of that in so we have a nice flat cover and it doesn't pac-man like this whenever we're just laying it around not using it then whenever we sew these signatures in so we'll do the three hole binding system so sew those in and I have done um, many many video tutorials on how to sew your signatures and how to sew in multiple signatures into a cover and um, you can search my videos for those got lots of them so I won't bore you with that in this video but we will do the three hole binding system on all three of these to sew them together put them in the cover and then each one of these will start getting uh, inserts whether it's just extra journaling paper or if we want to put big large journal cards or tags or whatever in there and before I start to sew these together as far as the binding goes I'm going to go to my sewing machine and on these pocket pages I'm going to go down a couple of them on the sides here so that we have some interest on the edges of the pages and then we'll need to put some tabs on it too and of course decorate and all that so that is some of the beginnings of a new journal and this again is the kit from Rachel and Bella Crafts and Angela Kerr for their current collaboration going on right now a garden story I am so excited that they um, asked me to be a part and I have plenty let me get the rest of that kit out have some um, ephemera here I have my project that I made for my collaboration video here and then lots more ephemera here to add into this journal I hope you are enjoying going along on the journey the journal journey <laughs> on this one and um, to see more videos from more creators on YouTube uh, using this kit put in the hashtag journal jigsaw and all of those videos should pop up or I will also have a link tree link in my description box below um, and it will have all of the creators uh, YouTube channel links in that so y'all have a great day I'll see you in the next video God bless love y'all bye